This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, hello, everyone. It's a really a great, great week at Author You. Here we are kissing the last week. Can you believe this? as September, as October rolls in, and, um, and we really are starting to think promotion. This is, this is a time that you need to think marketing. October, October is one of the number one book-selling months in the entire year. Everyone always thinks it's Christmas, it's Christmas, it's Christmas time. We're leading. This is the, the season set up. All you have to do is walk into a big box store, think Sam's, think Costco. And what is rolling out on the aisles now? Holiday stuff. And you need to be thinking holiday stuff well, as well as, here's the other thing. Holidays are every day of the year. All you have to do is start just doing some Google search. Look at, look at bizarre holidays, weird holidays. Declare your own holiday. Create your theme, your expertise, and run with it. And really build a campaign around it. So this is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about how do you do a campaign building, whether you are pre-launch, during launch, post-launch. You got a limp book. We're talking e-books, print books, and and anything that gets out and moves you and your expertise. Now I will tell you. Earlier this week, we did a stellar, stellar webinar with Kathy Mice, who is the visionary and founder of Bublish. And we have done a couple of shows on Bublish. We're going to come back because I have never had so many questions on a webinar, including people just saying, what's the offer? I need the offer right now. <laughs> we were supposed to stop, just go to the show, which I have never experienced that before. So we are going to tell you about the offer. There was a very short window on this because so if you're listening to this live, it's Thursday and uh, you have till midnight tomorrow to jump on the offer. The second thing is that we'll tell you about. The second thing is that you want to know that even if you don't get in on the offer and, and, and save, you know, you're saving 20%, which is quite nice, that still the regular full price is in my opinion a steal of a deal. So let's just jump into uh, with Kathy. Kathy, as I said, is the founder, visionary of Bublish. Bublish is a unique marketing tool that several of my clients have jumped on and used and are doing not only a happy dance, they're actually doing cartwheels and flip flops of the response and what's happening. One of them is that I'm thinking of is in pre-launch. The uh, another one has had books out and has working on her fifth book right now. But being able to go back and incorporate everything is just so unique. So although we can't show you live demos of what we were doing because we were in and out profiles. How do you fix it? What do you do? How do you how do you incorporate it? Hopefully, the words that we're going to be using will paint the picture so that you get it and you could run with that. And then, and then I also should say, Kathy was one of our uh, one of our uh, uh, partners, sponsors at the Author You Extravaganza, and did a terrific program on metadata, and, and which incorporates in your branding. So we're going to kiss on that too, because if you're launching a book, whether it's pre, post, reviving, repurposing, fill in the blank. You have got to make sure you've got the right metadata in place in the right places. So, Kathy, welcome back to Author You, your guide to book publishing. Hi, thanks for having me. It's great to be here again, and yes. uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to chat about Publish and the conference and metadata and demystify that word. Um, 
that well, what yeah, I really that? enjoyed meeting everyone. You have a great community there um, at the Author You Extravaganza. Really passionate authors. It was a real pleasure. Well, and then so I'm just going to go ahead and put out the commercial for that. Put on your calendar <laughs> September 7th through 9th for next year. September 7th to 9th. And just put Denver, Colorado author success. All right, so be here next year. All right, so Kathy, let, let's just kind of jump into this thing called metadata right away. What is it? Yeah. Why should an author really giving, you know, a, a care? Why should they care about it? So as you remember, the talk that I gave is metadata is your brand. And metadata is one of those words where, you know, you get that deer in the headlights look from authors because it seems so confusing. It seems um, intimidating, but really, metadata is just uh, the computer speak, the way that computers, which interact with uh, your books and your content and your brand messages all the time online in uh, increasing ways, how they interpret it. But the big difference that I try to make clear to authors is if you and I are talking about a book, Judith, there's a lot of wiggle room. It doesn't have to be precise. We're going to get there. The human brain is going to get us to that conclusion about what we're talking about. But metadata and computer speak is very specific. So when you're really thinking about how to message yourself online, you need to be aware of how that's being translated by the computers and the precise language that you need to use, the keywords, uh, the categories. And I, during the, the conference presentation, I asked the question, and it was surprising how many people don't realize this, um, your book cover is your biggest and most important piece of metadata. So authors, I think, often think of the book cover as just a, a selling tool or an image, but it is actually a very powerful and precise piece of metadata. And there's all kinds of ways that you should optimize your cover for that, for translation of that brand message, not only with the image that you use and optimizing that image with photo metadata, which your cover artist can do, so that even the photo floating around by itself through social can speak to the search engines and the social channels and say this image is about this author and this book with this ISBN and this content. And all of that can be done by your cover artist. Um, but also the words that you put on the cover are um, basically according to the rules of most of the online retailers, what should be reflected in your title, subtitle, series title, mm -hmm. uh, metadata, the fields that you fill out. And that's really where most authors, you know, think about metadata when they're uploading a book to Amazon or uh, Ingram or Barnes & Noble or iBooks. They're, they're placing information in those fields. And that's the simplest type of metadata, the, the core metadata, your ISBN, your title, your subtitle, your name, uh, you want to be accurate and consistent. But that richer metadata, that, that copy that you write to sell your book, your reviews, your synopsis, your bio, those are richer forms of metadata. And you also have social metadata, hashtags that are being created around your content when it's shared. So uh, your little pitch line on your, uh, your website that may be picked up in the URL or in the uh, page tag. So the, the tags you use on your blog when you share it. So that all of this is creating a network, a kind of neural network behind the scenes for computers to understand who you are as an author, what books you're associated with, what kind of reading experience, and, you know, you have to be aware of it. So it's, it's get, going to get even more important as we move forward because we are now highly mobile. Our cars are going to be recommending books to us to be listened to in audio in a few years. I finally had that light bulb moment and said, that's why Google wants to build cars because they can feed you content while you're while they're driving for you. <laughs> well, 
Well, you know, that, that is an aha, Kathy, that Google, you know, <laughs> as well as Apple and some of the others, are yeah. all looking at variables. And the car started coming out actually a couple of years ago with the ability to download podcasts um, and get into mm -hmm. and that is only going to grow. I, I think that's really one of the factors with the uh, the huge growth in audiobooks now that's happening is because they can download them just like any other book form and instead of popping in the CD you just listen to it as a type of a streaming. So there's there's yeah. lots of variables um, that's coming into play. But the, the, I think what's really important with the metadata is that even if you don't own the hashtag, you know, which you mentioned hashtags, that even if you don't own it, um, that uh, that you use other other trending hashtags that are relevant to your book expertise or theme or your expertise or whatever it is. And if there's anything that is really trending, boy, you better be jumping on that in a nanosecond. Um, for example, let me give you an example that, um, you know, we were glued to the debate the other night. And um, the big trending that came out was fat. <laughs> I would be, if I, yeah. if, I, if I was a cookbook person, if I was a nutritional person, if I was a health person, I would be doing hashtag fat. I would be doing hashtag nutrition, hashtag diet. Yeah. I, I would be going after those kind of things. Um, uh, and also there's a variety of other areas that you could possibly find out what is being hit quickly. Um, and it may be candidate's name, you know, who knows, but I would be going, I would be doing just a little 10, 10 five minutes exploring what it is and jump on it if you can add to the conversation. You know, and I should also say this to all our listeners, this really ties into what happened at the debate the other night. If you were in the nutrition healthcare area, you should be newsjacking like crazy and pitching <laughs> the media yeah. that your expertise with self-esteem, with, with, you know, <laughs> with, with a variety of things. Run with it, people. So, yeah, it's true. And, you know, what's interesting is, you know, the more... The more you understand your audience and, you know, what hashtags they're using, what type of content they're looking for, the more targeted you can be in um, finding your audience on social. You know, I think that's a really big problem for newer authors. They, they're like, well, I'm just talking to all these thousands of people, but nobody's buying the book. Well, if you're talking to the right people, you know, and you have your metadata right and you're attracting the right kind of people and you can also target those people to follow them so they become aware of it um, by studying the hashtags. Uh, you really, the more granular you can become and the more you can match your brand um, with that type of metadata research, the more effective you're going to be in building an audience that is really ripe for the kind of content you you write. So I think the big trend in metadata is that it is very agile. It's always changing. It's very fluid. Uh, but it's also being created by consumers all the time. And it's not the old days. In the old days, metadata was really just how books were moved through the distribution chains in big databases and computers. And that still important, but now metadata is very consumer-facing. I mean, it's one of the reasons on Bublish that, you know, we let the authors, that when they upload their their uh, bios, they create their profile on Bublish and then upload their first book, we have them input lots of metadata, and, and the system actually grabs metadata from the EPUB file, like the ISBN. We have them input keywords, um, choose categories, and um, add their synopsis. And all of that travels behind uh, the book bubble, which uh, is you know, really an enriched excerpt, and a director's cut for books. All of that is traveling and creating, every time you share a book bubble, that neural network of, you know, this is what my brand is about, this is what my book and my reading experience is, and... You take a look, you know, search engines, recommendation engines, and 
it's very helpful because the more you can inform those behind the scenes computers that are trying to make these connections, the more effective you can be in drawing the right audience towards you everywhere <laughs> online. Yeah, which is essential. All right, we're going to hold hold on that one. We'll be right back after a quick break with Kathy Neese, and we're talking really about the success of you and your book. So branding metadata starts with that, and then we're going to dive into what Bubblish is, what is a book bubble, and how you can roar, roar, and move forward using that. This is Judith Browse. It's author you, your guide to book publishing. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Is there a book in you or another? Author You will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being hoodwinked. If you already have a book out, You'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author U is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author it's not join author you today through its website at author you.org follow author you on twitter at author you and on facebook at author you where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily author you where the author goes to become seriously successful Every picture tells a story, and it's a truism that people do judge a book by its cover. Nick Selinger and NZ Graphics have been in the business of producing superior graphic cover design and interior layout for self-published authors, independent and traditional publishers for years. He has developed a reputation for... Excellent work, fast turnarounds, and best of all, affordable pricing. NZ Graphics also produces ebooks and book marketing materials such as posters, sell sheets, postcards, bookmarks, business cards, logos, and more. Books designed for his clients have won multiple book awards, including Best Book Award by U.S. Book News, multiple Evie Awards from the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, Indie Book Awards, the San Francisco Book Festival Award, and Freedom Medal Award from Valley Forge. Visit www.nzgraphics.com or call 303-985-4174 for more details about making your book the success it should be. Mention that you are an FOJ, friend of Judith's, and that you heard about NZ Graphics on your guide to book publishing. One of the most important decisions you will ever make is your choice for printing your book. You are choosing a company which will be responsible for guiding you through the process and printing your book at a level of quality and detail that embraces your personal and creative needs. You want to choose a company that when your book finally arrives, you are delighted and ready to move on to the next level and one that is customer focused. Choose King Printing Company and Addy Books to be that company that brings you to the next level. Go to kingprinting.com or call 978 978- Four five eight two three four five, and ask for Tom Campbell. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right. So 
you got how important it is to have the right keywords. I gave you a little tidbit on some news jacking, paying attention. Um, I'm always marvel, Kathy, when authors say, oh, I never watch TV. And I'm going, oh, really? You Listen, people, get over that one. There is gold. <laughs> It, it, there is gold that rolls off, whether it's a TV show, whether it's a new hot series, whether it's on the news, whether it's, you know, a snafu, whether it's a disaster, whatever is going on, you may be sitting on a gold mine and unaware of it. So you got to pay attention if you're interested in marketing and selling books. If, if you don't care, well, then I guess it doesn't matter. But if you're listening to this, it matters. So I, I stumbled along Bubblish, um, oh, I guess I guess about a year ago, or earlier this year. I can't remember, Kathy, when I first reached out a year ago. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, a little less than a year ago, I think, yeah. Yeah, and we and I was intrigued by it and, and you know, seeing it. And I'll tell you what brought it alive was just seeing two things. One was just seeing it's really pretty easy to do. And I think it might be almost addictive. Um, but it, but it's a good addiction of getting into it and really rolling to it. Two, seeing some of my clients really having enormous success. And three, um, understanding the humongous, and I'm telling you, humongous tech uh, support and really um, having a co-partner in marketing that the Bubblish team uh, jumps on once you join their family, so to say. And it, it is really, I've never seen anything quite like it, the continued push out. Um, I mean, I know that when I have guests on my radio show, I continue to push out the show uh, for, for several months uh, and with a variety of, of tweets and things because I think it's really essential, important information um, for whatever our topic area is and people need to be exposed to it. So the Bubblish team has got that technology. Kathy's got a huge uh, uh, expertise in just her own DNA in bringing the marketing and the technology forth. And there's some very unique features on it. So Kathy, let's, let's just jump in with one, what's sure. Bubblish? Two, what's a bubble? And three, why should authors care? Sure. So Bublish is the world's first complete publishing platform with integrated marketing, branding, and discoverability features. That's really the pain point now in the market is uh, time and uh, really the, the discoverability and marketing piece. So we wanted to create an integrated system where authors could write their book, they could publish their book, they could promote their book, sell their book, and track their success all from a single powerful dashboard. And that is what we uh, built at Bublish and continue to evolve as we learn more and more about the needs of authors in this very disrupted marketplace we live in. And uh, the, the key thing is, like, even when we build any tool that we build, even our writing tool, does multiple things. So we automate everything that's difficult about life and try to make processes very simple for the authors so that they can do the things that are really, uh, that can't be automated, that are, are require humans and save their money and time for that, editing, great cover design, and writing. So the writing tool is basically you, you Write your book on the left-hand side and Bublish is laying it out. We have a number of templates. You click a template and you can have a whole new design for your ebook uh, with a single click. And while you're writing in a pre-launch fashion, you can start to share what are called rough cut book bubbles right from your manuscript. And we're the only platform in the world that has this kind of integrated marketing tool. And a rough cut book bubble, just like a book bubble, which is designed for after launching your book, is really an enriched and highly branded um, uh, excerpting tool. So you can select any piece of your manuscript for a rough cut book bubble. Um, the next screen is going to basically tell you to give the author insight. So you share the story behind your story because we know that storytelling is also a very powerful engagement tool for marketers. The biggest brands in the world use storytelling 
to uh, engage their audience. And then in the third screen, you're going to see a, uh, a draft version of your book bubble with your face, because it's very heavily author branded, a beautiful cover um, that's there, the excerpt, your author insight, and then all the other pieces that are wrapped around it, like uh, on one screen you can visit the synopsis, the bio, there's a link to your website, and then all these calls to action, the ability to buy the book, or if you're in pre-order mode from any of the top retailers. We work with all the major retailers, so we're agnostic and so wherever a reader wants to go, they can go from that single book bubble. And then they can share it. Uh, so not only will you share your book bubble with your network, but then Bublish will share it with our massive networks and other people will share it as they engage with it on Twitter and Facebook. So the key is that to publish a rough cut or regular book bubble, you have to share it into social space. So we're not like a, a, a social network where you have to join in order for readers to engage with your content like a Goodreads or a Wattpad. We are actually a social marketing toolkit. So all of these book bubbles that you create, which are very highly visual and highly engaging, get shared into social space. Space. And they create a, a specific link for that bubble. Anyone who they don't ever have to have heard of Bublish can engage with that micro-browsing experience that you've created with them. And readers spend about four minutes on bubbles, which, you know, if you know the advertising business and you've tried Facebook or Google Ads, you might have a few seconds with a potential reader. This is really, you know, what Google likes to call a, a, a micro experience. And, and more and more in the marketplace, you know, we see that consumers think they're going to buy one thing and they're kind of bopping around and clicking links. And 70% of the time, they buy something else. So it's a fabulous way, you know, to have a touch point with a new consumer and really show them not only your work through the excerpt, but who you are as an artist and how committed you are to the, the craft of writing. And then they can they can also follow you, and if they follow you on Bublish, then they do become a member of Bublish, and then they start receiving your book bubbles uh, right in their inbox. So we move from social into the inbox. And then they can comment on it through our Facebook API. And it's really great because as you create book bubbles, either from your manuscript or from your published book, you're creating a library of digital assets that are are really evergreen. So when you write a blog post, it's often very time sensitive. Um, but when you write a book bubble, it's very evergreen. It's like a director's cut. And what we see is authors publish about, uh, a, if they have multiple books, they might do up to three bubbles in one week. But we do a lot to magnify that. So every time a bubble comes out in a week, we kind of showcase it showcase it in our reader event and in the published floating bookstore. So a lot of our authors publish one or up to three bubbles a week. And then, you know, as they, they grow and they have all these published bubbles, they can reshare them. They can put them into different tools that are for scheduling like Hootsuite and have this kind of ongoing cycle of, of interesting micro-browsing moments that they share with new and um, – season followers on Facebook and on Twitter. So it becomes a really fabulous place to have all your excerpts in one place. But unlike the give your book away free model where you only have 3% of the, the, book, the books actually read and that's becoming, you know, because so many people use that tool, it is actually going down. This uh, tool enables you to engage people because it's only a few minutes of their time and then they can go and explore the larger excerpts on the retailer and right on your dashboard you're going to see the engagement was it on twitter facebook email publish you're going to see those actual numbers in real time and then you're going to see where they click through if they did go to your product page because when they click the buy button or the pre-order button they don't just go to that retailer they go to the specific product page right 
on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or iBooks or Kobo or Google Play. And uh, it'll drive a lot of traffic there uh, for them to explore further and also to your website. So we, we really do show you kind of what a sales funnel looks like in a very simple, high-level way. And uh, it's very powerful because people immediately see, you know, the uptick in the engagement with their content. And um, it's a, just an ongoing drip, and it builds and builds and builds. So uh, for a lot of authors, it's become the go-to place for them to excerpt. And the other thing is as you build out, you know, multiple books with multiple bubbles, you do have an author profile that you can also share. Think of it like a LinkedIn profile just for authors. And that can be shared also into a social with a single click, and you can see metrics on engagement with that. And for our premium members, every bubble has that little logo that allows the reader to go from a single bubble about one of their books to the larger profile, which then gives them a sense of the entire scope of an author's uh, list of titles. So many authors write in a number of genres, and so you go from seeing an author writing one book in a specific genre to a bigger picture, and the author profile, of course, is much more branded uh, around the author. So... So the writing tool alone is, you know, really unique in that you can start that process way before you, yeah. It is, it's easy peasy. It really is an easy peasy. And I think that one thing that really showed is not only how simple it was to do, go into your Word doc or even you know, your PDF that will convert it very quickly, which you have a slick tool on the site to do that. Thank you. It's a very slick tool. People went, we, we started getting uh, comments Wow, <laughs> from people as, as they watched not only convert the PDF to an instant Word doc again, but take your PDF and convert it to an EPUB in seconds. Yeah, so it literally, that, that's that the thing, when you're done is click, you've got a distributable yeah. EPUB. That's, again, just saving the author time and money, and we really built that because we saw so many, and I know you've seen this too, Judith. Horrible. Really horrible conversion. <laughs> horrible. In comparison, yeah. and I'm always so. One of my mottos is, as a book shipper, is when I work with clients, I, I want them to create a book they never regret. And as someone who is what just published her 35th book, 18 with New York, I can tell you there are only two from the New York crowd, only two that I didn't feel. I needed to make an apology for. So, you know, things have evolved so much, which is very exciting for us authors, that yeah. you can really have so many options out here to really move forward that actually there are no excuses. You just have to find out what works for you, where it's at, how to implement it, and get going. So with that, let's take another quick break. With this is Kathy Mice, and we are looking at, looking at, ways to really market your book that are unique, that are really inexpensive, that are very creative, and um, and you have an opportunity to get ahead of the crowd. This is Author You, your guide to book publishing. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Since 1987, Color House Graphics has set the standard for quality book production. Whether you decide to print a small quantity of books or need a large print run, depend on Color House to help you. You'll receive professional help and advice the moment you reach one of our representatives. If you mention hearing about us on your guide to book publishing with Judith Bryles, we will provide you with a discount on the first order you place. To speak with a project manager, call us toll-free at 800-454-1916 or visit us at www.colorhousegraphics.com. Want to publish like a pro today? Well, then take a look at Ingram Spark, the only publishing platform that offers print and ebook services through a single source. Upload, edit, and manage titles all in one place. 
take more control of printing costs with print on demand, and reach even more readers through one of the world's most extensive distribution networks. Built by independent publishers for independent publishers, Ingram Spark has everything you need to maximize your book's potential color printing, ebook distribution, print on demand, global reach, and more. Start publishing with Ingram Spark today and see just how far your titles will go tomorrow. That's IngramSpark.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, so I leaked out, I leaked out something um, just before we took a break about the the nifty tool. There's there's a lot of nifty tools with your bubblish package, and and people were saying so. Here's something like, oh, so what's the upsell? What's the upsell? I mean, so if I get that, what do I have to pay extra? Nada. That you with your just. <laughs> And, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what the offer is. Normally, it's $99 um, for a year, or it's going to be more per month if you do a monthly. What is the monthly, Kathy? Yeah, $9.99. So, actually, the offer is 40% off the, yeah. the monthly rate. So, we give you a little savings for annual, and then for the offer that we've been making around the offer, you extravaganza, it's uh, actually 40% off that monthly rate. So, $79 so, a year. Because typically, you know, a lot of people say, well, I just want to test the waters. And let me just say this about marketing. I have seen more marketing plans fail because people actually spend all their money before they have their book, not realizing that 10% is in that arena. It's your, all your energy and time. The great bulk majority is going to go towards the marketing, positioning, the promoting, the uh, sustainability of your book and you actually uh, because I actually in my marketing plan I always have lost it when I'm really heavy duty in it but um, mm -hmm. I, I think you really need to um, think seriously about this that this is not this is not a little sprint you're on here so I actually think it's a mistake to go into a monthly deal where Kathy's just revealed that you know basically it's 9.99 let's say 10 bucks so you're dialing 120 dollars um, a year or $119.88, okay? So let's <laughs> just do it. Okay. Right. So we're going to tell you, yeah. you get the whole shebang for ninety or $79 um, if you yeah. use this coupon code that we're going to give you. And that's a humongous savings. And so now you've got this in your pocket, kind of in your pocket, that you can learn it. And it's not complicated to learn. I mean, I saw people jump on, and it reminds me of watching little kids. All of a sudden, the little two-year-old comes up to the computer, and by God, they've got, they're on the Internet already. And they're, you know, it's stunning to me what I see little <laughs> But it's the same thing here, that you can jump on it, you start learning it, and you play with it. I'm a big believer in playing and doing it. And also, I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes a whole bunch of ideas drop in. Bang, 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 bang. And when you're creating these book bubbles, which are like the author's cut, the behind the scenes, the thoughts of maybe why you wrote the scene, if you're into yeah. fiction, or the thoughts of why, why you came to this conclusion and recommending this in your nonfiction book, um, or why you use this particular story to support your point in your book, something like that, that it could be a paragraph. Or it could, you know, what you do is you go and you copy paste the section you're referring to, bang. You're in. We all know how to do control A, copy. You know, you do the section, control C, copy, control V, paste. We all got that one down. And then yeah. what you do is you go to the side and then add your commentary. So what would, what motivated you? What were you thinking about? What was your aha moment? Um, what's yeah. the, you know, that these characters are, they're in? It is, it, when you have a bunch of those, you can literally reschedule them because you don't have to publish everything you do instantly. I mean, give yourself a break here 
and do some planning. That's why I get so much done in my scheduling on social media. I am doing this way ahead of time that I will do a whole bunch so I don't have to think about it anymore. Um, and yeah, the batching, the batching of your time, chunking of your time, and chunking of your, you know, your content in different buckets to just kind of Absolutely. put it a little bit on autopilot, like every Tuesday I'm going to share this type of content and I'm going to prepare it on Sunday afternoon because that's when I have two hours, and yeah, yep. Publish definitely lets you do that. It's a smart approach. That's what we do. You mentioned Hootsuite. I use Hootsuite, but there's a lot of other social media management platforms that are just fine, whether it's Buffer or Edgar or fill in the blank. Um, and mm -hmm. you can just get, get one, learn it, marry it, and incorporate it in your daily life. And it could be that, as, as Kathy just said, maybe Sunday is when you have a two-hour chunk, you can set up the entire week and not think about it again. I mean, I think that's a cool way to move on with your life and your work and not be married to it. And I'll tell you something else. Once you start using social me uh, management tools, that you will not get sucked into the labyrinth of some of the social media platforms. Uh, Facebook comes to mind right away, where you go in there thinking that's going to be 10 minutes, and three hours later you're wondering, whoa, what happened here? <laughs> Too many cat videos. <laughs> Too many cat videos. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know that you can do that. So you've got this killer tool, nominal dollars to really be a really um, a star in your marketing package that you have time to learn. And once you get it, boy, I'm going to tell you, you're going to you're you're going to run off. Grace Allison, who is one of my clients and one of the, attended the first webinar has in 90 days she had over 10,000 bubbles recirculating. She didn't write them all, they just have taken on a life of their own. And that can happen to you and your book and within them, there you put in the, the click link. I mean, Kathy's got in the system that you can link to a variety of tools, whether it's Amazon or Nook or iBook. Um, she's gonna have a logo here very quickly for IndieBound, which I think is way cool to have yeah, where yeah, yeah. you know, take you to your uh, a favorite independent bookstore in your specific uh, zip code. How cool is that? So you Yeah, can sit and I know that that was last night. One of the questions was, you know, well, is, is Bublish only for eBooks? And it's not because you do have to have an EPUB file to upload to Bublish because no one else will see that book file but you but you'll be excerpting from anywhere in your book so we have to be able to kind of deconstruct the book and re put it up there so you can you know get any excerpt you want but it drives the book bubbles that you create and share with readers through social media drive traffic to your product page where all the formats are available so that's the other great thing about this is it, it's about the reader's preferences. So does the reader want to buy from Nook or Amazon or iBooks or Kobo or Google Play? That's up to them because you click those buttons and we put in the links within 24 hours of you uploading the book. And then after that, you know, when they get to the product page, they can make the decision they want on format. Do they want it in ebook, or do they want it in print, or do they want it in audio? That's up to them. So you're not going to lose sales because we um, drive to only one retailer or we drive to only one type of book. We, we drive to your product page, and everything's there, and it's really about the reader getting it the way they want it. And I think if there's anything about this marketplace we know – is that, uh, you know, with ebooks and print books, you know, they want kind of a seamless experience and often want both, which is why you, you get programs like, uh, you know, Amazon's Matchbook where you can get a deal on one format because when you're at home, you want to cozy up with a print version. And then when you're on Chapter 14 and you got to get in the car, you want to take the ebook with you or on a plane and, and you don't want to stop reading. So I think that's the future, too, is that, you know, readers will often own a book 
in multiple uh, formats. And, and that's why we, we stay agnostic with all the retailers and we stay agnostic with all the formats. Let the reader choose. No question about it. And I think one thing, this is one of the, uh, the wows that came out, is that you don't have to go up when you post that it's available on ebook or print book. You don't have to go find the link on Amazon or, or the ebook platform you're using. Uh, the publish team goes, does it for you. I mean, that was like, whoa, you're, you're making it really easy for us. Yeah. It's literally click, click, click. Check the box, and the links will go live in 24 hours. And that, um, you know, just keeps things simple. And also, it ensures that the links work. You know, that that an incorrect or broken link is an input, uh, because that's the thing. You want to connect the dots seamlessly. And it's so easy to lose someone when you're guiding them through. Uh, kind of a sales experience or a marketing experience mm -hmm. where in which you want them to act a certain way. So everything has to be rather seamless. And and that is the goal of the book bubble. <laughs> and, and that's what makes it exciting. So I'm, I'm just going to encourage all of you. You want to, I would explore the Bublish website, B-U-B-L-I-S-H, Bublish website. And, and Kathy, we'll yeah. mention it a couple times. Why don't we, we're going to come up to another break here, I think, fairly quickly. But what I'd like you to do is to go ahead and give them the code. Um, so if they're listening before Friday midnight, um, and I don't—is that Pacific Coast time, East Coast time? What time is that? Yeah, Pacific time, midnight, Friday, September thirtieth at midnight Pacific time, and it's uh, a year of publish for seventy-nine dollars. Absolutely everything that we have to offer, and that's the writing tool, the book bubbles, the rough cut book bubbles, the author profile, and the ability to upload unlimited books um, with unlimited bubbles. So we, do, we have authors on there with um, dozens and dozens of books and hundreds and hundreds of book bubbles. So, and that code is author U0916, author U0916. Is that lower? Is it lower case, uh, uppercase? It, what do we have to it's do? It's uppercase. I think the system actually uh, actually makes it uppercase, but it is all uppercase. And, okay. And um, if you are already on a free trial on Bublish or you're, uh, you know, a, a member of Bublish and you want to upgrade to that, you just will see the little upgrade button in the upper right-hand corner and you click that and... Uh, you know, make sure you're signed into your account because if you try to just uh, use the offer without signing into an existing account, uh, it's going to tell you your email is already in use. All right. So then one other thing I'm going to say, and then we're going to take a quick, our final break. But author mm -hmm. is, you know, with the uh, with an O, but the uh, the 0916 is a zero, not an O. All right. So author yes. is zero, zero. Nine, one. Uh -huh. Six. All right, so we're going to come back. A and we silly have... mistake on our part. <laughs> we did not oh, put yeah. that zero in. <laughs> hey, it happens to the best of us, eh? All right, so <laughs> after you, zero, we'll be right back. This is Judith Browse. With me is Kathy Mice. We're talking about Bublish. We're talking about book marketing and specifically how to be successful, stand and roar above the huge crowd of books that are trying to get everybody's attention. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing, and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems, you want solutions. 
Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from one to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based eBooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right. Book Publish. I hope we've convinced you to really take a a peek at this phenomenal new system that's fun. It's a very cool way to market your books um, like crazy and to add commentary uh, to, to really what's going on uh, with, with uh, your thoughts as the author, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. A lot of people on the webinar we did earlier this week wanted to know, was it only for nonfiction? Was it only for fiction? It's for books, and it's for children's books. It's for, uh, it's, it's, I, I even, someone, one of the questions was, well, I do adult coloring books. Can we do that? And I, yeah, I think you can, because if you're doing adult coloring, and this particular person who wrote has a uh, huge background in quilts and things, and she does patterns, and and part of her coloring experience involves uh, coloring the patterns. And she could actually take screenshots and show them the, you know, the the beginning, maybe a little middle, uh, a, a continuation of how to do it, but it's it they, they still are a rage and huge in book sales. So if you have a book that might be conducive in a coloring book, you could do that too. Um, and for my coloring book, the quilt, you know, how, why did you design this quilt pattern this way? What influenced you? What experienced you? Those are all bubbles. Are they not, Kathy, that you could share with people? Yeah, the the um, the only thing you have to do if you have a highly visual book is you do you know you can either upload an existing book in the EPUB format into Publish and that works great you know w- with images but for really dense you know image books where you, most of the book is images we just say instead of using that tool because it's hard to break apart, you know, images, they're often in what's called a fixed layout EPUB, and we can't break that apart. So you just use the tool that says um, start writing a new book, which is our ebook creation tool that we were talking about, and then you can put some the content, any content from the book in there, and then add an image, and then you can actually create uh, an EPUB that Bubbles can read. 
and you can do that, you know, if you had 10 pictures, it would probably take you um, 15 to 20 minutes to do that on Bublish. And then you can share images of your um, your coloring book or your you know, cookbook on, on social media, which is, you know, a very useful tool, and you can create bubbles from that. And that's and that that's the the key. So, it's really um, a lot of times you know a lot of us get involved with marketing things. I mean, it's so complicated. And I don't know. Here's one of my confession. I have listened to webinars. I have done a variety of things, and um, and and put monies out, and am clueless what I bought. I don't know about you, but I'm confessing here. I have downloaded stuff, never looked at it again. In fact, I can't even find it. So this is one of those things that I'm going to encourage you to get pronto. And even if you miss out on our little special window here, get it anyway. Um, and just go to bublish, B-U-B-L-I-S-H dot com and, and jump on the, the, the wagon here. And, that, and start playing with it. Start using it, incorporating it. And let people know that it's available. Bring an image over on your your website uh, to to people can click onto it. Can people subscribe to Book Bubbles? Can they subscribe to the platform? Yeah, that's a that's yeah. the follow feature. So, say you're you've written a book, and I um, read your book bubble. Well, I know you've written a book. Say I'm reading one of your book bubbles on on Twitter and I um, am engaged and I want more, I can click on the follow button in the book bubble, and then there's just a quick um, first name email sign up. And now every time you create a new book bubble, I will get that in my email. And that's how we also draw you know, readers into the, um, the system because then they can sign up to see other authors um, and follow other authors and they have a board where they can unfollow or follow and track um, as readers. But, you know, the key is that I don't have to be a member of Publish for that first engagement or multiple engagements with single bubbles. But if I'm interested in receiving more content from you, then I just follow and in a second I can start to receive those book bubbles in my inbox. And again, they're very, you know, author branded when they come into your inbox. So it's a very um, rich visual experience with a link to your latest book bubble. And the other thing, you know, just to tell you where we're going with this is when a book bubble appears on a screen and they're all responsive design, so that screen can be any size, it just fits to mobile. You create once and it resizes to all different screen sizes. But it's actually generated on the fly by our system. So all of those elements can be reconfigured. And we've laid the grain groundwork with the follow feature to actually have a one-click newsletter solution down the road, which is, again, you don't have to do any design. It's going to take all the elements of you and all the branding and books and organize them into a beautiful newsletter that you can start to uh, send to your followers on Bublish. And and that, again, foundationally is another very unique thing about Bublish is that the foundation of this system is, is to continue to evolve. So all of these elements that we have to go and grab for every new place that we go online, Bublish can just reconfigure them. So as we learn more and more about the needs of authors, and we know newsletters are huge um, as a way to stay in contact with your readers, we just can reconfigure the system to lay it out in different ways to achieve the goals without the author really having to worry about, you know, all of that design side of things, all of those calls to action, all of those links, all of those elements. They just get to focus on the content writing because that's what they do great. So write your books, and yes, you've got to write sales copy, but you don't have to um, concentrate on a thousand things at once. You can really just write great, engaging copy for your followers to, to delight them, be that a blog or be that an essay or be that a newsletter, anything that, you know, 
anything that you want. We let you focus on what you're best at. And that's because we're all writers who created publish. <laughs> so we get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and think of them, you know, it's, it's just a personal touch. It's that insight. It's giving it's giving your reader some insight. Um, yeah. It's like a quasi conversation that you direct. <laughs> You're directing um, and, and you just put it out. So I think it's really a unique tool to have and to run with. And I would really encourage all of you to get it and get it pronto to bring into play because it will, I think it'll, it'll intrigue you. I think it will expand your base that you hadn't even imagined that you had there and that it will, I mean, it'll set you apart. Um, and there, I think all of us are trying to find things that make us a, a little tweaky different from the rest of it. So everyone's not wearing gray. Uh, and the gray seems to be a real popular proper beige. We don't want, we don't want you to be the author beige. We want you to be the author <laughs> vibrant. This is the way yeah. really, uh, really do it and pop out. So, Kathy, what were some of the other questions? Can you think of, we had so many last night. I, I wish, you know, when our webinars go off, we lose them, the uh, hard copy. But uh, the, Yeah. The, it stood out. Let's um, see. You know, I think um, some people, they, they there were a lot of questions about, um, you know, can you work with audio and audio books? And I will say, you know, I'm very interested. I was at a conference this past weekend and got to, hear a great talk by the people at Audible, and they have a very fascinating excerpting tool from the audio books, and um, I'd like to talk to them about adding that type of media into a book bubble, and I think, you yeah, know, the also, essence of, what's that? It's called Audio Boom, Audio Boom, I don't know if you know about it. ACX doesn't own it, but there may be some ways that you could drop a clip I mean, I've recommended people taking clips and dropping them in the middle of their blogs and communicating that yep. way. Yeah, because I think, um, you know, it's just a perfect fit. You know, we've, we've thought about video. Video is really very difficult to load on the fly quickly. So that's a tough thing to add to a bubble. And we really do want to keep it very focused on the story and, and we want it to be very much like a bookstore browsing experience. That's really where the whole journey started was that, you know, I am a passionate <laughs> bookstore browser and as the whole world moved online, most of what we saw was, um, you know, either controlled by the retailers, what we could read, but we couldn't kind of pick up and feel the book and get to know the author. I was always somebody who loved to read like acknowledgement pages because oh, you know too. I thought that said a lot. I know, like it's just one of those I always things. Think. And so I want to know what's on the team. <laughs> right. So you know what? We're going to have to wrap it up. This hour has gone yes. very fast. But again, everyone, take advantage of this unique tool for your book. So go to bublish, u b l i s h dot com, and if you use the code. Um, author U, the letter U, author U, zero nine one six, and get get in in the early stages before a gazillion people are on. It becomes crowded like it does. So with that, Kathy, yeah. thank you so much for being with us once again. And um, thank and we, you for having happy, me. Yeah, happy autumn. <laughs> happy autumn. Yes, happy autumn. Take care. All right. Talk All right, there. so everyone, happy reading, happy writing, happy publishing, and remember, this is your key month to really propel, go forward. Publishing, Bublish.com is going to be one of those tools you want to have in your kit. I'm Judith Browse. I'm your book shepherd. We'll see you next week. Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Each week, a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take you, the author, to the next level. You'll learn tips and secrets on how to create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve book publishing success by making one very simple change in your book's journey. How to avoid the publishing predators. How to create an author and book platform that rocks. Learn how to make a living with your words and your books. Learn how to publish a book that has no regrets and so much more. 
For more information, check out AuthorU.org, where authors who want to be seriously successful go. And Judith's website, TheBookShepherd.com. Then join us again here next week for more. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Brought to you by Author You and the Book Shepherd. Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific.